Your Excellencies, my colleague friends and elected officials of the ITU, let me take this opportunity on behalf of the Commonwealth Telecommunications Organization to congratulate you on the 25th anniversary of the ITUD sector. Let me also take this opportunity to thank the government of Argentina for hosting this conference in this beautiful city of Buenos Aires and the very warm welcome which has been accorded to us since our arrival and especially for the fantastic reception we had yesterday. There are 52 member countries within the Commonwealth of Nations with a population of 2.4 billion from developed, developing and developed countries. Over 60% of this population is below the age of 30. This diversity makes the Commonwealth a unique subgroup of countries in the world, which also covers four of the six regions of the ITU. Most of these countries are members of the CTO. According to the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the spread of ICTs and global interconnectedness has great potential to accelerate human progress, to bridge digital divide, and to develop knowledge societies. Let me therefore quickly highlight some of the activities we at the CTO have been engaging our members uh, over the years. And I'm pleased to inform also that these activities fall within the overall mandates of the ITUD sector. And this is why we have collaborated extensively with the ITU in our work. Top of our agenda is cybersecurity, which is of great interest to many countries, in fact, every country. The CTO is dedicated to encouraging and fostering a culture of cybersecurity and effective cyber governance through the establishment of cybersecurity frameworks, standards, and guidelines. We believe that in order to develop trust in the ICT sector and ensure that countries and communities can reap the full benefits of ICTs and cyberspace, there's a need to invest heavily in resources into cybersecurity, as well as effective collaboration. In 2014, the Commonwealth ICT ministers adopted what is now called the Commonwealth Cyber Governance Model, which lays down principles to guide practical action in involving our members and in governing cyberspace. On the basis of this model, we have further developed a model for national cybersecurity strategies, which has been used extensively to facilitate the development of cybersecurity strategies in a number of countries and with the kind support of the UK government. This include Fiji, Mozambique, Malawi, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Uganda. We've made tremendous progress in these countries. And I must, of course, mention that recently, we partnered with the ITU to assist the government of Swaziland to develop its own national cybersecurity strategy. I'm happy also to announce that the CTU is extending our reach beyond the Commonwealth by providing assistance to the government of Senegal through a partnership with the Dutch government. This is to facilitate the development of the national cybersecurity strategy for Senegal. We're also committed to developing capacity building within this telecom sector. And we also um, um, put in a lot of efforts to tackle cybercrime. We have worked with Bangladesh and Nigeria and we have plans to conduct activities in Pakistan in this light. I'm particularly pleased with the outcome of the engagement we had with the young people of Bangladesh on the use of ICTs under the guidance of Honorable Minister Tarana Halim, um, which was a successful event. The CTO is also working to develop the capacity of small and medium enterprises, which I understand is one of the focal areas of my good friend Hulizao, uh, to protect themselves against common, common cyber attacks through the impl implementation of cyber standards. Given that SMEs contribute towards upwards of 40% of national income in emerging economies, we believe that there is great value in this project for our members. We have recently conducted um, some sensitization activities in Uganda and Tanzania, and next month we will be going to Trinidad and Tobago as well as Jamaica to offer a support. In recognition of the increasing threats uh, of the cyberspace and cybersecurity, 
The CTO Council met in Maputo last, um, last month and passed a resolution to bring the issues uh, to the attention of the Commonwealth, heads of government, and, um, which is meeting in London uh, April next year. Your Excellencies, as part of our strategic goals, CTO also supports our members on other initiatives, um, particularly on universal, affordable, and high-quality broadband connectivity via enabling policies and regulatory measures, which will facilitate the rapid rollout of broadband infrastructure. We believe that broadband access in, in rural and remote areas can not only encourage development, allowing for greater access to educational and professional sources, but also increase uh, issues of inclusion, social inclusion. Issues such as universal access, efficient utilization of spectrum, quality of service, are some of the key elements which were considered by the CTO when we provide assistance to our members. Others are technological neutrality, as well as environmental protection. We are pleased that these are also aligned to the work of the ITUD. And in fact, the CTO has partnered with the ITU in de developing the national broadband strategy for Dominica. Distinguished delegates, at the CTO, we believe strongly in collaboration and in a multi-stakeholder approach to all activities. I therefore urge all of us here to continue to work together and to share our strengths and experiences as a commitment to this topic we only result in a better future for us all. The CTO stands ready to support the output of this conference. Muchas gracias.